so I, I sort of always thought when I was in high school that this is something I like to do. But I also thought I wanted to, I wouldn't mind being a criminal lawyer and I also thought I wouldn't mind being a vet and I didn't do those things because they, they required quite a bit of schooling and I wasn't very good at schooling. Actually, it's from Russ Never Sleeps, which is my favorite Neil Young album. And it's about this young guy who's, who's out on the frontier and he's got trouble on his way and he's kind of freaked out and he doesn't know what to do. And um, the line itself, a daddy's rifle in my hand felt reassurance. Red means run, sun, numbers add up to nothing. It's just a really evocative line. And the song is sort of it's sort of sad and tragic, but it's, it's it's kind of romantic at the same time. Even getting in trouble, you don't know you're doing research at the time, but you are actually. <laughs> this is some place where I did research back before I knew I was going to be a writer. I used to come here quite often when I was younger, uh, especially when we were teenagers. My buddies and I would come here and. We used to smash up a lot of cars, so we'd end up here in front of the judge now and again. It was about 30 years ago, but I was in here for some, uh, I was being corrected for something. And I remember sitting up there thinking that I could, I could probably, uh, if I had some way of getting those bolts out of there, I could get out of there. And I wasn't really in a position where I needed to break out of jail. It wasn't anything real serious. I didn't do anything that reprehensible. I, I didn't rob an orphanage or run for public office or anything like that. I was just kind of youthful exuberance, you know. One of the key elements the Red Means Run is that he didn't break out of jail to run away. He broke out of jail to clear his name. When I hit upon the idea of this smart cop, dumb cop, and the smart cop being a sexy woman, and that kind of really worked for me too. And it's, it's a little bit of an homage to uh, Elmore Leonard, uh, who, I've, who I've always admired a lot. And his book, Out of Sight, uh, there was a similar character between the, back, the bank robber and the cop. And um, I really like the energy of that, so it's sort of a tip of the hat to Elmore. So Virgil Kane is an ex-ball player. He had no intention of being a farmer. He didn't really want to be a farmer, but he fell into it because his coach was sick and he was helping him out. So he sort of backed into a career as a farmer, but he's very happy with it right up until he gets arrested for murder.